The Supreme Court allows nationwide enforcement of a new Trump administration immigration rule. The policy denies U.S. asylum to those who do not seek protection in the other countries they pass through first. White House correspondent Mark Irons reports. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Wyatt. The Supreme Court decision gives the White House a big victory. That's according to the head of Customs and Border Protection, who says it will curb the flow of immigrants to the U.S. President Donald Trump sums up his thoughts with one tweet. Big United States Supreme Court win for the border on asylum. With a 7-2 to two decision, the justices temporarily upheld the president's policy. It will impact Central American migrants journeying to the U.S. and require them to first seek protection in another country along the way. This court decision would allow implementation of the president's action to, for you to stay there while, you're, while your process is being claimed. Otherwise, people are coming into the border and the claims aren't processed at all. We're just, it's just catch and release into the interior. Supreme Court Justices Ruth Bader Ginsburg and Sonia Sotomayor dissented from the high court's order. Sotomayor writes, once again, the executive branch has issued a rule that seeks to upend longstanding practices regarding refugees who seek shelter from persecution. The U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops earlier gave its opinion of the new asylum rule by adding it jeopardizes the well-being of vulnerable individuals fleeing persecution. Certainly as Catholics to grapple with this issue is, is difficult. There's no clear-cut answer. Catholic Alfonso Aguilar is president of the Latino Partnership for Conservative Principles. He supports the Supreme Court's decision and says the U.S. asylum system has been abused. We have to think of those who are suffering abroad. But we also have to think of the rule of law and the citizens of our own country. Immigrants will be allowed to seek asylum in the U.S. if the other countries they pass through along the way turn them down. The White House admits, though, that process can take a long time. Wyatt. White House correspondent Mark Irons reporting. Thanks, Mark.